Alrighty, so we are in the red, white, and blue thrift store. I've never been in this place before. Um, just popped in and trying to see what we can find. So far, I do have a pair of Dr. Scholl's work. So they're like slip resistant, and I'm pretty sure those are yellow, which means they're 75% off, so they should be like 250. These right here, I'm trying to look at miniature plates. State bird miniature plates. Interesting. I'm not sure if they're sellable. Clay art. <clears throat> I've sold these before. Uh, a group of four sold for like a hundred dollars. So I may pick up this one, even though I know they definitely sell better as a group. It looks like if you have all of, all 50 of these, they can do okay, but that's not. Oh, these are cool. These are um, $1.99. It's not bad. These are Ray Dunn Halloween Melamine bowls. Looks like there should be another one, and there isn't, but I'm going to get them anyway. This per hen does okay for me, too. Chantel. Chantel. However, you want to pronounce that. That's all one set, I think. <clears throat> Alrighty. Their kitchenware is pretty darn affordable. edge rough edge to it rough edging mm. no brand on those oh here we have that Chantel brand again those are kind of like I don't know more of a boring color this says something about Starbucks that's weird Starbucks Coffee Company. We're going to give these a shot. I don't know what they are. <clears throat> I'm going to put them in my cart at least till I try to look them up. That's interesting. I've never seen that. Let's see what these are. Crate and barrel, some big white bowls. Kind of a nice pattern. Oh, it's melamine. Mm. Must have something on those, those bowls. <coughs> some temptations. I don't know. I've been skipping over a lot of that stuff lately because it just doesn't sell like it used to. These are Williams Sonoma, which I normally pick up. This normally comes in a set of four with two other pieces, but those do not sell well either. Mm. Four ninety nine for four bowls. These are rimmed in the popular green pattern, so I am going to take a chance on these. I should get about thirty five. This is a Sue Zipkin uh, Sango. 
And that stuff is really cute, but it just doesn't sell, unfortunately. Some Mikasa. These are unmarked. <coughs> It's two, 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 fifth. We can already <clears throat> tell that. See that coming? <sighs> I might take my sweatshirt off. It's ooh. It's actually a pretty warm day. And me rummaging. Those are Martha. Martha Stewart, me rummaging through these plates and making me even warmer. Holly, this looks like a cat food bowl. For a cat named Holly, maybe. Ikea, just picked some of those up at the thrift for myself in blue. I like them. We used to have some and broke them. And broke them all. Mm -hmm. This is nice, colorful. Flamenco Canterbury Potteries. It's a little chipped up, unfortunately. And it feels like that. It feels like that type that chips easily. Some hand painted. <clears throat> Daisy. A little sticker on these. Handmade. It doesn't say a brand. It's IKEA bowls again. Different pattern. <clears throat> This is Lennox, and it would do well if it had more pieces. Some interesting bag stuff that's ink, but it's generic. Some boxes. Just a random wall. <clears throat> Oh, here we have some some head covers, but they look pretty worn. Yeah, they're really worn. Otherwise, I would have picked those up. Interesting. Perkin Hammer Nancy. Never heard of that. I don't even know. That almost looks like rocket ships or something. Something's telling me to get this. It's $12.99. I don't know. This thing is just super cool. Pampered Chef. I'm thinking about getting this for myself. <clears throat> These are nice for like, salmon and stuff. on this wall. Mystery wall. Hmm. I think they have 
flatware somewhere around here. <clears throat> Clear glass. No, you're fine. I'm having some issues in that cart. Oleg Cassini. And take a gander at this top top rack here. I don't really see anything. <clears throat> Some figurines, nothing's popping out at me. Looks like flatware might be in this area, but I don't really see any. <clears throat> this is nice. And it is RS Prussia. RS Germany it is like um, a chocolate pot, I believe you would call this. Um, so yeah, that is that's a really beautiful piece. So getting that. It's going in my my crazy cart. Alrighty. Lots of French presses here. And barrel. These are nice. I think I've got enough breakables in my car. Let's check this linen section out. Quite a quite a large linen area in here. Those are cute. William Sonoma towels, but I don't know what the placemats are, but it looks like there's only two of them. I think people prefer to buy those in sets of four, maybe. <clears throat> Waverly, Valence, and Scallop Valence. And there's two of them in here, and they're new. That's actually not terrible. I think I'll get those. Shoot, we have down here. Recycled linen napkins. <clears throat> Christmas tree shop. if we can get get some makers <clears throat> that's cute it's a, what is this I think this might oh it's a quilt cover it is a quilt cover okay lighted Christmas lace <clears throat> Look like placemats. Oh, these are, I think, placemats too. 
but the one looks very stained. <clears throat> Unfortunately. I am going to look up this um, because you never know. Sometimes, sometimes IKEA is a hit. And sometimes it's a miss. But I'm going to look it up. Waverly Williamsburg King Sham. It's $5.99. It's opened. Oh, I don't know. All right, guys, it has been a super crazy, busy weekend so far of thrifting and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so it's time to do some hauls now. Um, this, I'll just do the recap here. Basically, you probably saw most of what I picked up. Um, this was from the Red, White, and Blue Thrift. I thought that I wasn't in there before, but after I got to the checkout, I'm like, oh no, this feels so familiar. I've definitely been in here. This was the one in um, Paramus, I believe. I don't know. There's Paramus, Passaic, uh, Patterson. I don't know. They're all like right next to each other. I get confused. Anyway, I'll tell you, this store does a heck of a job with wrapping their stuff up. So I ended up spending, I believe a total of $86 at this store and some change. Um, they only take cash at this store too, which is kind of bizarre for a large thrift like that. But yeah, ooh, now look, now I have extra bubble wrap. So <clears throat> just chatting while I unpack some of this. Oh, you know what? The one thing I hate though, the tape. I know they do this to keep their items together, but you know what? I still have a dish set from like three weeks ago because it is so taped up that I am absolutely dreading the untaping process because then there's like little shards of stickiness <laughs> stuck to it. You have to run it under hot water for what feels like forever to get it to loosen up. And oh, does anyone else hate the tape like I do? And I, I, I never think about it when I'm in store. It's when I get back to the warehouse. <clears throat> And yes, that is where I'm currently at, the warehouse. So someone mentioned in my last video, like I need to spruce it up or whatever. It's pegboard. How much sprucing can I do to pegboard? I don't know. I have these shelves and I did kind of take some things down and move some things around a little bit. I don't know. Guys, my address is in the description. If you guys want to send me something to spruce up my area, I'm here for it. I also need a new calendar. I don't really need a calendar. Does anyone really need a calendar? It's on your phone, it's on your laptop, your desktop, whatever, your watch. But that last one was super cute to look at with all the dogs and puppies. I literally just took it down the first week of February because I realized like, oh, that's from December. All right, enough talking. Let me get into this. All right, so I got three bags, more bubbles. Three bags of stuff at this place. Um, uh. <clears throat> All right. So the only article of clothing is um, pajama gram, which I think it's supposed to be pajama gram, but I don't say pajama like pajama. I say pajama. So pajama gram doesn't sound as cool as pajama gram, but how do you guys say it? I don't know. These are pajama pants. That's what they are, but they are so cute. They're a three X, I believe. Um, so cute though, new, all of these adorable dogs. <clears throat> these are so cute. All right, then I picked this up. This is so cool. It's got like art deco vibes. It is Perkin Hammer, Czechoslovakia, Nancy is the pattern and this I paid up for. This was $12.99. This looks like a like a soup tureen. Um, it doesn't have a spoon. You could put any spoon in there. 
but, and I'm not, I'm not sure what these little things are. They almost look like rockets, but yet they look like bells. And I don't know what they are. <laughs> look at this. Like, who designed that? Like, what even is that? I don't know, but I love the handles. I love this piece up here. And I could not find anything similar. Uh, I looked up the Perkin Hammer brand and everything but I am probably gonna list this for around $59.99 plus shipping um if you guys know better than me drop it in the comments but that's just what my gut is telling me I'm gonna list it at right now that could change I may um I may check Terapeak. I don't remember if I did or not last night. I literally thrifted until like 7.30 at night from like 11 in the morning, 10.30 in the morning. I don't know, all day, all day. <coughs> Excuse my, my cough, that never goes away. Uh, so these are really cool. And I have another set somewhere in another bag and these were half off. So they were $2. These are made for Starbucks. So maybe little like ice cream or dessert bowls. Um, but yeah, uh, there's some Starbucks bowls. I never even knew about Starbucks bowls, but there are some that sell for a really good amount. I did not see this exact pattern at all online. So I'm not really sure. Maybe like $29.99 for the three bowls. And then I got this bag of Yankee Candle Illumilid. That is what they are called. I don't think I actually said that in, in store yesterday. I think I, I don't know what I called them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're two, two and two are the same. So there's four of them, but, and these can go anywhere. It just depends on the pattern and new, if they're new, they'll go for more, but I don't know, maybe like 15 to 18 can even do some free shipping with these because they're you know they're gonna go first class and then these are red santas these two have been used because you can see the soot on the back but yeah these are just super easy to list ship store all that good stuff so that's a winning combination all right then i picked up some waverly traditions by waverly um waverly you know, it, it can be hit or miss. And a lot of these now can be found like at the Christmas tree shops. It used to be more of like an exclusive kind of brand, I feel like. Um, <clears throat> maybe they sold out a little. I don't know. Anyhow, this is still a nice valance and tear set. Doesn't look like there's three in there, but I guess there is. Um, I mean, it's it's like sealed and everything. So I got that one and then I got, this is just, oh, this is two, two of them in here. Two scalloped valances. Uh, this is a, what is this? I think it's a, I think there's a pillowcase in here and a quilt cover. Yes. And this is Ikea Barnslig Dons. I, I could not, I probably might not be pronouncing that correctly, but anyhow, uh, there's none currently listed on eBay. One sold for $25. So I'll pop this bad boy up for $25 plus shipping. All right. Then these are, uh, Chantel, Chantel. I don't know how you say this either. Anyway, I've had luck selling this stuff before and it was half price. Um, so there are five little pumpkin bowls. That's the brand that I just butchered. Five little pumpkin bowls. We'll get into the next bag because <clears throat> I know I have some of the matching, matching stuff. Ooh, lots of breakables, I'll tell you. This cashier, she packed like a boss. She really did. I give, I give her props for the, the pack job. Anyway, these are, blue tags were not on sale. These are $4.99. Um, temptations four bowls um i've had luck selling these before that's why i picked them up i don't pick a whole lot of temptations up anymore i do i am more um i do still pick it up i'm just more uh 
I don't know. What's the word? I'm tired. I'm telling you, I'm like on a two-day thrifting bender. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, <clears throat> I, was like, I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Anyway, I picked these up. I should be able to sell these for about $36 plus shipping, maybe $40 plus shipping. Here is the other pumpkin pumpkin items. These were half price too, so they end up being $1.50. Um, these are larger. <coughs> so I will probably sell these separately. Some of them may want the large ones, but not the small ones. So if they want both, they can buy both. Okay, here are the other Starbucks bowls. These are on sale too, so $2. So these are purple and like a pink, like a terracotta. They're like a coated or a painted terracotta. So yeah, pretty cool. <clears throat> and then I really don't remember the, the price on these. I do have some of them over there in my in my pile uh sophie conran for port marion and i forget the exact pattern name these were 4.99 i figured i would add them to the other one that i have make a little bit of a larger set see already i'm taking this tape off and it's leaving that sticky residue that i hate Ugh. this and i got a lot of hard goods at this place so I'm going to be ripping tape off for hours, I feel like. All right, one more bag. <clears throat> one more bag. So yeah, you guys are going to see me probably in this lovely ensemble for a couple of videos. I call this lazy chic. Um, <laughs> get up and throw on something to get out the door. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I have a few hauls to film. So, all right, these ended up being two fifty. They were nine ninety nine, and they were seventy five percent off because they were yellow. Um, I gave you the total at the beginning anyway, so I don't know. Anyhow, these are Doctor Shoals, but they're work heels, so they have that non slip sole at the bottom. You know, people are always looking for stuff like that. I figured for two fifty, can't go wrong. Um, even if I list them for maybe twenty dollars, I'm not sure. That's in my head right now. That's probably what they're gonna go at. They're gonna go around twenty, twenty five. Um, they look barely worn though. <clears throat> All right, this I love. This I'm so glad it made it in one piece. This one they only taped with um, scotch tape, so that should be a lot easier to remove. And then the permanent marker on the bottom, I should be able to get that off with a little magic eraser um, because this is not a porous material. So that should come off with no problem. Anyway, this is, this is beautiful hand painted, um, like a gold gilted design, trim, chocolate pot, teapot, chocolate pot, right? Th those are the big, the tall ones. Um, this is RS Prussia, RS Germany, RS Prussia, uh, and it was $5.99. So I felt, I felt like that was a really good price. And it's, it's just, I don't know. It's a beautiful piece. I think it's a beautiful piece. You guys, you guys might not agree with me, but, <clears throat> uh, so maybe I might list this for like 60 bucks. I don't know. That's off the top of my head. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is a Pampered Chef. It's just a little oval baker. I paid $3.99 for it, but this I think I'm going to take home, uh, clean it up a little and keep for myself. This is just like a really nice small pan and this stoneware cooks things really well. <clears throat> I used to have a red one, like the red glazed. I think it cracked in half that does happen sometimes with this with this pampered chef stuff but um i think i'm gonna keep this because it's really nice for like a piece of like salmon or you know something like that when you're cooking for just yourself which is basically what i do all the time um it'll be good for that so i think i'm gonna take that home with me <clears throat> 
Okay. <laughs> I don't bubble wrap. You get entangled up in it. So, love that. I love it. All right, these are $1.99. There's only three. I wish there were four, but they are Ray Dunn uh, Halloween Melamine Bowls. This one says the witch is in. All these different witch legs. I'm assuming that each one says something different. Um, I, know, I thought they were cool. <clears throat> And then lastly, I guess this is all I got. I felt like I got more at this store. Maybe I didn't. Uh, lastly, this is um, Hillary Scofield, an Irish blessing. I found four of these, a set of four at, wait, was it four or was it six? I think it was four. At a yard sale last year. And I sold them for $99 plus shipping. And they sold like, I think within the week. So this is only one, unfortunately, but I figured I would still pick it up. So yes, all collector plates are not made equal. I have, trust me, I have, I have some collector plates that I really should just throw up and list. I'm almost embarrassed to list them, but now you guys know my secret's out. I don't know. It's like I blacked out at a yard sale last year and ended up walking away with like 30 collector plates. Uh, I think Cinderella and Wizard of Oz possibly. And I'm like, why did I just buy these? What happened? Something short circuited in my head because they are really not worth anything. <clears throat> but you know what? I think I should just list them. I'm going to throw them up like $9.99 a piece. Boom, boom, boom. They'll be easy to list. They're already being stored here, so I might as well list them. But oh, what a bad purchase. But I'm telling you, I, I literally don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. And then these another set of three. I don't know if that's why all this stuff was donated. Somebody broke one and they gave up on the rest. They're like, nope, we're done. You're off to, off to the red, white, and blue thrift because you are not a complete set of four anymore. And I just can't have you here in my house. I, I, because everything I bought is like, in, okay, not everything, but a lot, a lot of items I picked up are in threes. And luckily enough, people will still buy them in threes, <laughs> but people will not always keep them apparently because yeah. Anyhow, this is Richard Genori, Italy. <clears throat> Looks like they're all different and I'm not sure what this particular pattern is called, but the name, I did a quick search on Richard Genori because I've never heard of him before and it looks like his stuff sells decently. So I did pick these up $7.99 for the three. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to list these at yet. I need to do a little bit more research on the pattern. So that is going to wrap up my red, white, and blue thrift haul. It was a lot of fun going in there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, lots and lots of fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.